Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining. Uh, again, uh, it's, a, it's a good turnout. Uh, we had some calendar issues, so hopefully that is uh, we can get those worked out. Um, but uh, as as always, the meetings are recorded. We're posting them online for people who aren't here. Um, so if that's a concern for anyone, uh, please let me know. Um, just a uh, the big thing this week. Uh, uh, introductions and follow up on questions from last week. I guess we did. The only introduction is Hauke for anybody who doesn't don't know you. Uh, I guess the we can uh, have you introduce yourself. Uh, the things we're asking are why are you interested in Open WRT Summit? We're doing the icebreaker of of your favorite editor. Uh, yes, hi, I'm Hauke. Um, I'm interested in the Open WRT Summit. Uh, yes, because I'm one of the developers and I try to get. Uh, <laughs> The uh, yeah, the people together so uh, that uh, yeah to get the yeah make the summit uh, a success so that we can yeah talk to each other and so on. Uh, mm. Yes, the icebreaker. Uh, but um, sometimes I use uh, gear and sometimes win. It depend win. It depends on yeah. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Well. For those who didn't know Hauke, uh, now you know Hauke, his favorite editor. Uh, just going through the to-dos, um, the, these are obviously, no, we're not all deciding these today. Um, the the um, big thing are location uh, and date time of summit, and also the title. I didn't, um, I, we, I didn't put that in the to-dos last week. That's more of a, uh, you know, I thought of that today. I'm like, hey, we don't actually have a formal title we should probably decide on. Um, the working title was Open WRT Summit, but whether that wants to be the exact title, I don't know. Um, so uh, location suggestions we had. Uh, the the um, the ones on the wiki and then also some that were, were mentioned. Uh, the first thing we can probably actually, we'll do Battle Mesh first because that was uh, suggested by Hauke. And uh, Federico had also um, recommended it as a possibility. Uh, I talked to Art about that. Uh, um, he is more than uh, willing to uh, fund a. Uh, he's, you know, I shouldn't say he for sure we're willing to fund uh, a battle mesh, a, an event at battle mesh, but we're very open to the idea. So it's not like it's if we do it in the fall, we would not uh, do battle mesh. Uh, in, in a, an open WRT summit or, or whatnot for battle mesh in the spring. Um, for budget reasons, it'd be easier if we did if we did it one in the fall soon um, as well. It's just because we've budgeted the money. Um, but I guess that's really up to the committee. Uh, but there is a preference kind of for the fall uh, at least, and then probably also for the spring then for, with battle mesh. So. Um, just to be clear that that uh, if we do something in the fall, it doesn't you know, preclude also purple providing funding for it in in uh, around battle mesh as well. Um, hey Eric, I just wanted to mention that I, last minute I uh, added FOSDEM to the FOSDEM oh, okay. to the location suggestions just because it's been brought up before and nobody mm -hmm. had put it on there and uh, unfortunately it was just held in January of this yep. year so my assumption is it wouldn't occur again until january of next year probably yeah that That's usually tends to be the end of january first week of february kind of in that area yes um, yeah so it it would again that would be kind of later than um uh for budget reasons for purple pr as a preference but it's i mean i guess that's up to the committee ultimately um the ones that we did have in the wiki otherwise were uh berlin with the elce uh, uh, Lisbon was mentioned with pervasive and embedded com uh, computing and communication systems. That's a July date. Um, that's going to be pretty difficult to do. I don't think that I, I, I would argue that almost that that's almost not feasible. Um, but it, I mean, I guess the committee can consider it. Uh, in Prague, there's no uh, co-located event, but uh, CZ Nick uh, will provide uh, logistics support in that case, which is very, very nice. Um, we, and then we had uh, FOSDEM. Do we have any kind of you know discussion on what 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 people are thinking about this? I mean, where are people? Where are we going on on um, location? And what do we think? 
so how could he? I think it depends on what you want to to what what audience you want to attract. So when you co-locate with an event, you often get some people that are more interested in the the, the main thing which you co-locate, and they also come to you. Mm-hmm. So when you look at the um, people that are at Battle Mesh, it's a completely different audience uh, when you compare it to what will be at the what's normally at the uh, Embedded Linux conference. So at the Embedded sure. Linux conference, for example, you mostly have um, the people that are getting their paid by their um, employer mm-hmm. and that are doing uh, yeah, commercial work on Linux. And mm-hmm. as a comparison, on, on the battle mess, you mostly have uh, yeah, the, the wireless communities from uh, Europe, the people active there. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, you also have some people that are, uh, uh, they are paid by the company, but but a completely different audience. Absolutely. No, you're totally right, Hauke. Um So I guess that maybe that is a question. You know, what, what do we... How do we view this? I mean, where where do we want the um, what focus? Do I, is it, I mean, I seem to remember the one of the aims here was to to promote OpenWT on a commercial side, so that would probably make more sense to to be involved with something where people are going along for their companies, would it? Mm. On some level, yeah. Yeah, I, I think. I think that the people attending battle, not that we couldn't do something co-located with Battle Mesh. I think that's fine. Like you said, Eric, maybe we could do something, you know, uh, on a smaller scale with Battle Mesh because the whole conference or the whole activity is a smaller scale and people could come together there because they use OpenWRT as the basis of the test, you know, firmware on these, on these platforms. Mm-hmm. But just like uh, Paul said that, the whole idea of Open Number T Summit bringing industry and and the core team members together, and it's not just big industry; it's even you know small industry and the the players who use Open Number T in their products. And uh, there's a huge number of companies who you know take advantage of Open Number T, but has never come to one of these conferences before. And the mm-hmm. ones that did last year, I think, really appreciated um, meeting some of the core developers. So. I do agree. Companies big and small, our idea is to bring them together with uh, core developers and get even more of the core developers to come and attend so that um, those core developers can say, hey, industry, this is what we need you to do. This is what would help the project be stronger and more quality. And then the, and then the community on the outside says, oh, okay, well, Maybe we could help here or there, and just the open dialogue. You know, we've seen the mm-hmm. the latest news with leads and stuff like that. It's it's there's there's always people, politics, and issues and stuff like that. But the more you bring people together, the better uh, you know, people will communicate in general when they're face to face. So I I do think that it it would be good to attract you know, industry, if we can get them there. And by industry, I mean, you know, companies big and small. And and by the way, it's ELCE is also at the exact same time, October 11th to 13th is the Open IoT Summit. So instead of Linux Con, which I think is a few days earlier, mm-hmm. um, ELCE and Open IoT are at the same time as they were held in San Diego um, in April. So you also, we also may attract companies who are using OpenWRT in their embedded IoT projects. Okay, that's a good point. Um, I I happen to think that that. Um, Maybe this is is naive, but if um, doing both ELCE and Battle Mesh actually have a lot of advantages in the sense that um, ELCE brings in people who are already going to be there, but there's a sense of if we did Battle Mesh as well and big companies or small companies see advantages at, um, at an event, um, like like OpenWRT Summit at ELCE, 
they might be hooked in the sense that they might go to Battle Mesh, and that's a completely different community that that companies are not um, involved in, and maybe they learn things about the community in a way that they may not have otherwise. Now, I don't know if that's something that Battle Mesh is keen on even, honestly, but it's an idea. I I don't know. But but I also like, so, you know, moving on the list there, I also like the idea of uh, CZ Nick, which is that company that's done a lot for for the organization or for, you know, they've done a lot with OpenWRT and shown what a company can can do and uh so that's i think that's another great alternative so the question is can we attract enough attention it's, it's more we have to rally in industry all over to come to the conference so we have to do more of the heavy lifting of publicity and marketing with linux uh conferences you already get that and they're co-located events and they start publicizing it with with um <clears throat> CZ Nick, the, the question is, how would we publicize it? And would our publications of, you know, just reaching out through Purple and through OpenWT, develop lists and stuff, maybe we'll attract the right audience anyway. It's a kind of a risk versus safe, isn't it? <laughs> yep. risk, risk could really pay off or it could completely flop. Yeah, it... I guess. Go oh, I was, just, I was just going to say my worry. And, and then again, I had this worry last year was that we're going to have an event with like five people show up. And my worry is, is, is are we going to have that problem with, uh, with Prague simply because there is no other event there? Probably not, but... Yeah, but there are a lot of advantages to it, and I, I, and and and, you know, Betty, you can you can obviously chime in. Um, I I love that CZ Nick is willing to provide all this support and 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 help, and I I think CZ Nick should be not just. uh, I mean, almost in a way, it'd be a great way to recognize all the great work you're doing. Oh, I, I think if we want to attract uh, people to Prague, we just have to publish the price of beer here and <laughs> they will come. Uh, no, 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 but, but seriously, uh, I, I, I certainly would, be, would love it to, to have it in Prague. Uh, I think we can help a lot. But on the other hand, the, the purpose of this committee is, is I, I don't want to push my, let's say, agenda here. I, I want really to, for the Open WRT Summit to succeed. So I am trying to be to be objective here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have one comment to to the, uh, let's say, let, let's bring people from the, from, from companies to, to this meeting. I think for people from companies, it is uh, much easier to come to such meetings than from, from let's say, freelance developers. Because they they have it paid, they just have to justify the trip. And if the companies are really into open WRT and really want to know what's going on and and influence how it works, then I think that uh, they wouldn't have problem sending people to the conference. What I think is is most important is having there the core developers. These mm-hmm. are the ones we have to we have to have there. If if we bring them there, then I think the companies will come. And even if they don't come or they come in smaller numbers, the the meeting still would be of a much greater value if the core developers have the time to come together than the opposite variant when only companies come and no no core developers. This, This wouldn't work from my point of view. So I think that we should concentrate on core developers and what they would prefer. So presumably the Prague one is uh, there's no specific date, right? Since you since you're not mm-hmm. um, co-locating, so you could even contact all the core developers early and just say, well, let's figure out a time that's best for everybody. Or, yes, or you could it, also, it might be an advantage. Or you could mm-hmm. also have the dates right before or after ELCE and the Open IoT Summit, so that you can attract industry at least coming from the United States, maybe they could go over, hit a day or two of that conference, and then extend another day and hop over to Prague. 
from Berlin. I don't, I don't know if that would work or not, but it's an option. It, it certainly is, is, is very close and uh, there come, goes direct train from Berlin. So it can be in Prague in four, four to five hours um, and you can just, just prepare your slides on the way or whatever. So, so yeah, it, it's very close. So it, it might be an option, but I, I think in that case, it, it would make more sense to co-locate it uh, mm -hmm. than have everybody move. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, how okay, in terms of attracting core team members, uh, what do you think the and and by core team I mean open WT plus lead, you know, all the developers. We haven't we haven't attracted all of them in the past. We've gotten about 4 or 5. What which venue of like ELCE Berlin versus Prague would attract do you think more of the core team? Um, so I think uh, this year at the Battle Mess, there were at least Felix and uh, Joe <clears throat> attending. I planned to attend, but I uh, had some other stuff to do. Um, I don't. Berlin is normally also not a big problem because uh, many are located in Berlin or nearby, so you can pretty fast get there. Um, so I think both locations uh, would work fine. So I think it's <laughs> more of a problem. Uh, some people don't like purple, and uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I think that's, that's so a bigger problem. All right. <laughs> it's a fair point. Well, I mean, uh, Hauke, how do how do you think um, this might be a little beyond? But I mean, how do we? How do we solve the not necessarily even getting them to like purple? How do we solve the problem of actually getting the core team together regardless of purple? Um, in the sense of how do we get them to an event of any sort? I don't know. I can talk to to, to some people and um, yeah, I will talk to you next week or something like this. Okay. I mean, I think that I think that's valid because we we do want the core team and and yeah. um, uh, this is. So I, think, I I I, I uh, like with that purple it tries to be more more open. I think it's it's not common for an industry consortium or something like this to to make these uh, things uh, in the public. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I think that was a problem in in the beginning, and uh, so I see some improvements on purple side. Uh, yeah, let's see how it will work out. Well, thank you. <laughs> We're trying, but uh, no. Um, I think it's well, yeah. Yeah, we definitely are. Uh, everyone has an opinion, and I think that probably makes things difficult at times. But we have to step back and say that's that's just one person's opinion. It's not the organization. And purple, uh, what we what we want to do is is again bring people together, and the whole sort of you know, internal people, personality and stuff within, within OpenWRT, that existed before Purple existed. So um, I don't know that <laughs> we have any special powers of fixing that either, but it would be nice if we could help. I just don't know how. Maybe, maybe. Oh, sorry. I don't think Purple was any, what's a the reason or something like this for this uh, uh, lead development and so on. It's uh, more, it's a problem. I think we talked about it, uh, about communication problems and how to solve it. Uh, we had a meeting at Battle Mess four years ago and it was reason, what wasn't really solved. Uh. Mm -hmm. Maybe All just right. an idea uh, uh, to do, to do. Purple, how how purple is viewed inside inside uh, OpenWRT or by the people? Uh, maybe if uh, this might be might be a point for Prague, if we do it in Prague and and Czetnik is the host, uh, then there will be another company uh, seen as, as supporting OpenWRT. It wouldn't be a one 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 company action, let's say or. or Thing. So it it might be viewed as as more more open, let's say, or but 
just an idea. It's a, it's a good point. Do we have enough information? And how would we, as a committee, uh, make a decision? Are we just going? Would it be an idea to just vote? Um, or... I think we would. We would probably vote. Yeah. I mean, I don't think we actually formally decided, but I mean, I think that makes sense. How okay. we would do that? We we'd probably want to do it on the list because obviously there are people who can't who you didn't learn at this meeting, and and I want to I want to make yeah, sure yeah. we get everybody's opinion, but um. So I guess yeah. the question is, are there are any, for anybody, yeah, for anybody here, is there any further information that you think is really important um, before you would be able to take a choice? For me, I think, I think it's reasonably clear. Uh, from my point of view, we, we had some, some nice summary from Eric last time about how many people would like to have, the, have it collocated and so on. But one information I don't know if we have uh, is that how many people actually visited uh, uh, the, the conference before OpenWRT Summit last time. That's an interesting point. I actually thought about that earlier today, and I'm, I may be able to get that information from Linux Foundation. That said, I don't know if they have it, honestly. It may be they had it at one point and may not anymore because it has been, you know, six months. They may, have, they may not have it anymore. I can email them and see what see about that because that will give us – I mean, it's a good point. How many people um, – we wouldn't necessarily be able to get the information of um, how many went to both events. Uh However, we would probably be able to get the information of how many people, um, because you can do it as like, you can register as like an add-on as part of your registration for the event for ELCE, you could do an add-on of the OpenWRT Summit. We could probably see how many people did that because that would indicate, at least on some level, how many people did this. My, my gut feeling just off the top of my head would be a maybe 50 50 do you think I th eric i think it would probably be in that number there were a lot of people at that event who who did say oh i was at elc and there were a significant number who said i was at elc and i didn't know about it until someone told them they're like oh yeah i'm gonna go to that too um but yeah i would say 50 50 is probably that's um i mean that's that's pretty pretty tough guess but i do remember i mean uh, hauke you were there too did did you get a sense of how many people it was not really i think it was about 50 or not not i think about this that you're actually in the room um for the battle mess if you're interested i just posted the links of the participant list of the last battle mm -hmm. mess so if someone wants to go over it no, definitely. No, definitely. I think I think Battle Mesh is certainly a good idea um, for the spring. Um, ideally, I'd like to have something this year, but I mean, I again, that's up to the committee um, if it's worth it or if it's a good idea. Um, well, again, I think that uh, what I think we should do is is plan for it. You know, take a vote on this location question and plan for it and uh i'm sort of i think beta had a good point that uh the cz nick location could be seen as a sort of a neutral place and could we attract some of the core team members who haven't been attracted in the past because of i don't know purple whatever and make it look more like <laughs> you know well i mean yeah this is a community event and Exactly. Purple's just the sponsor and helping organize what I mean. We're not deciding anything. It's just this committee. Um, so, yeah. So, Betta, I can get try to get that information on the um, how many people did registered as an add-on. Um, that might that I mean that would give us some numbers again that's going to be a pretty um 
it's going to undercount the number of people, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can get that to you and get that to the committee and then so you have that information at least. I, um, I have a question for Hauke too. How could this event be an open WRT sponsored event? I mean, sure, Purple is providing funding, but if you look at something like Battle Mesh, right? It's organized by Simon and uh, other people and Purple has provided sponsorship in the past as other companies have. Uh, how could we organize this event so that it's an open WRT event and uh, we're just, you know, we're providing funding, CZNX providing logistics report, support, you know, how can it be that you guys are hosting it, not me, not Eric? Would that work? Yeah, I can talk to some guys. The problem currently is that uh, uh, this needs a lot of uh, work. So, like, uh, yeah, Eric probably knows this uh, yep. to organize all this stuff. Um, and I think there was there was long for a long time there was a plan to do some uh, specific open WRT event, but nobody at the time or was really interested in uh, organizing it. And so we just used battle mass or um the wireless community weekend in berlin uh, as a location and met there so yeah used somewhat else as uh um yeah uh event to meet um <clears throat> so i don't know if it's if there are enough of these resources in open wrt to organize this but i can well, ask some that's, people that's can, and can back can come back to you okay that's the benefit of having Beta and CZNIC involved, though, on the logistics side, which is really the tough part. Um, well, there's, yes, there's uh, still... Uh, um, we, oh, we, I... we, will, we, we are able to take care of, of the whole organization. Just What we cannot do is uh, attract the core developers. This, um, mm -hmm. yeah, this is a completely different role. But we can organize it all. Just we just have you just have to put a stamp open WRT onto onto the package, and we will we will prepare the package. Okay, thank you. I will talk to the other people. Yeah. I think the battle mesh is also organized. So there's the um, the core group. I think uh, Simon and so on. And um, then the actual location and so on. That's all organized by the local team, which changes every year. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just showed two cents, uh, and I think Kathy has raised a valid point that, like, at least the date should be nearby the Open IoT Summit. So I think because we can also attract some of the members who are coming on Open IoT. I don't know enough data, like how much from the Open IoT or like those members are interested in Open WRT. But that's something probably another advantage if we have dates nearby open IoT. It's wherever it may be the location, but at least the dates can be nearby. It's difficult to speculate how many people would be prepared to uh, move between summits, mm -hmm. but I guess it's a potential. Uh, so I guess, you know, one useful piece of information then is if if hosting it in Prague would sort of take the purple label off and the core developers would be more interested, that changes things a bit, you know, in my mind. It does, yeah. Um, so is it possible to get some feedback on that sort of, I don't know how we do that, but if, if we could get some idea well, of whether that's actually going to be the case or not? I mean, we have two more, a couple more on the planning committee who are open to virtual core developers, right? Luca was on last week. Uh, yeah, and Imre is also on. Okay, um, so that that's a good question for you, Hauke. I mean, I can try to reach out to Felix Fitkow too. Uh, so if we could get you and Felix to, you know, yeah, we we'll talk the to right them too. Yeah, to mm -hmm. the Stuff a team also, Felix. And just yeah, just see if it could be. If it could be, uh, you know, bring bring the the leaders together, the contributors. 
bring them all together and we just provide funding and CZNIX provides logistics and other coordination and mm -hmm. and then you have a conference. What you guys would have to do is help figure out who's talking and what the agenda is. You know, get we need uh, a good committee to evaluate what what presentations there should be and then what other activities. And you want a lot of networking activities, <laughs> not just formal presentations. Yeah, we'll talk to the lead and OpenWRT developers on how, yeah, if it's, this would be possible and, uh, yeah, try, try to convince them <laughs> that uh, to take part in this. Mm hmm Definitely. And, and it can be, I mean, I, I don't know if this is going to work, but I mean, it can be a mix of, of this group of people we have here and doing some of the stuff along along with you know help from purple or, or whatever i mean i don't i don't know what the mix is that uh politically makes the most sense Hauke. so i mean you can kind of figure that out it, it's a balance of of the politics of it versus the actual you know how do you Pur purple can provide some support but then there are political issues with that so it, it's a balance of everything Okay. So what are what do we feel our next steps on this? Um, Hauke talking to the 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 committee and and Kathy talking or or not talking to the committee, talking to the, the core developers. Kathy talking to the core developers. I mean, what what do we think our next steps? Yeah, I, um, there was also wasn't there also some information about. That you were, were going to look at, yes. Eric? Um, oh, no, yes, yes. The getting then, that inf sense of information of, of how many people had uh, registered as open WT Summit as an add on. For me, that's probably enough. Okay. Yes, for, me, for me as well, I, I, I would certainly like to have feedback from, from the core developers and based on this. Uh, I I would I would then decide what what's the best way I think. Okay, I think I would agree there. Um, my next steps are now no longer valid, but that's okay in this case. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess we can we should we meet again next week? People are thinking or. So I guess between now and next week, we'd, we'd, I, presumably the, the vote would be uh, something we don't have to meet up for, right? And then we'd want to review our winner <laughs> and what we do after that. Well, yeah, I mean, we, we kind of need to get this sense of from, uh, I mean, how could you do, do you think we should wait a week or, to get this kind of information? Or do you think it's going to be longer? Uh, I think um, contacting the OpenWRT developers, yeah, I think uh, about a week should be okay. Um, Back. Yeah, so I will write something to the mailing list before. Okay. Okay, sounds okay. good. Um, how about we tentatively say that we're going to meet again um, next week at the same time, and then if or are you saying you're going to email our, the the committee the summit committee mailing list? Uh, yes, I, uh, yes, I will talk to the, the developers and uh, then write something to the committee develop okay. to the committee list. Okay. Um, I guess we will wait on that before we make any other decisions. And then we can discuss it on the list. And then after we do that, then that kind of decides what our next steps are, I think. Yeah, makes sense for me. I think okay. I think there might be some information uh, that that are not easily transferred by, by email that mm -hmm. we can get from Hauke. So it, it might make sense to, to get together and discuss this online, but I, I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I think, Eric, if we put one in for next week and then reg regardless of either we're all in a position where we're happy to vote before then and we'll have a vote um, that's mm -hmm. already done or we'll, we'll have been in a position where we still need, you know, to discuss yep. what's been said and then we can use that to do that. Okay. D does next week work for you, Halky, since you're kind of the the uh, key to all this? Uh, I cannot really say uh, if next week will work for me because I haven't uh, <laughs> I, I am on vacation next week and I don't know if I find the time to uh, take part in this meeting okay that that's an understandable problem um, so do we want to do we want to wait two weeks what our time scale is looking like yeah that would be the end of that would be the 25th um, I mean, if that's what we have to wait, I mean, that's how it works. We said we wanted something done by the end of May. Well, well um, yeah, yeah. Art had wanted to figure out the budget, and so... Uh, it, it, that's that's we what we... Yeah. And that was the tw by the 23rd or something, like, uh, somewhere in there. If possible. Yeah, that week. I mean, that's more of a... So, Yeah, but but also then just so we can start publicizing the date and the location. But uh, why don't we why don't we see if we can come together and get a placeholder or at least get how whatever Hauke's input can be, whatever other input the rest of us can gather and have a uh, maybe have a brief call next week at the same time and just see if. Uh, discuss if we have a little bit more insight and then maybe save the vote until after we have sufficient reference data. Mm -hmm. Yes, why not? I, I, I will be on a conference next next week, but uh, I, I might be able to, to just, okay. yeah, to, to attend maybe we could anyway. Just so. Yeah, or maybe we could just try to do things by email um, as much as possible until then should we have a, a, a like a drop dead date for the for when we want to get votes in so that we're at least trying to track to a certain date because could keep rolling we, on couldn't it yeah i mean I, I think a lot of this though is really dependent upon um you know what happens to, with the core team and and what what their thoughts are um but yeah, I mean, it, that. But we, uh, I think that at the, the same the, time we do we do have to have like some sort of, you know, the, kind of. Yeah, like, the concern for yeah. me is that okay, we'll get some feedback, which would be great, and then but there'll be follow up, kind of. Oh, what about this yeah. and that? There'll point. never be a point where we're going right. I'm totally understanding what's going to go, and it's no risk at all. At some point, we just have to make a call, don't we? Mm -hmm. Um, how about we just plan for a meeting next week? Um. And if we have some discussion that we need to do, uh, then then we do. And if we don't, then we'll just have a short meeting. I I think that seems reasonable. Um, and yeah. then you know try try to get as much information in via the mailing list ahead of time. And and uh, I think that seems like a like a reasonable step. Yes, okay. I agree. Okay. We will plan on a meeting next week then at the same time and then um, and I'll I will try to get that information and, and everybody who who has information to get in, uh, you know, just uh, email it to the mailing list and we can discuss stuff there too. Sound good for everything or for yep. everyone. I mean, yep. yes, yep. thanks. Awesome. Yep. Well, thank you everyone okay. for coming. I appreciate the great discussion. Okay. I have to Thanks. apologize. I was late. So. What's that? Uh, I have to apologize. I was late in the meeting. I had some uh, other traffic jams reaching it. So. No so problem. We watched it on YouTube. And... No problem. There's there's an echo, but we are we're done. So um, we can uh, we will talk to you next week, Hans. Okay. okay. Awesome. Thank you, though.
Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye.